I will now show you what I did to get the pillow finished and then you're on your own. Go ahead and crochet a back for the top of your pillow. This should be the exact same number of stitches across and the exact same number of rows. I purchased this material for the stuffing in my pillow. Feel free to buy a pre-made form for yours. Take the top that you made for your pillow and lay it out on top of your folded material. Slide the top to the fold on the material. You'll leave one inch border around the other three sides and then cut your material. Fold your cloth so that you have your right sides together. With your right sides together, sew two sides all the way up, approximately one inch in from the edge, and then the other one sew only halfway. Turn the inside out and you'll have the outside of your inside pillow. And this is where you'll be putting the stuffing and you can sew that up after it's all stuffed. Right now, we're gonna go assemble the front and back of our crochet and get ready to stuff these and put them inside. In the next video, when you put the top and bottom of your pillow together, they are with the right sides out. You're going to be sewing on the outside of the pillow. Okay, I've matched up a front and a back and all the rows are heading in the same direction on the front and the back and what I'm going to do is take each one of these stitches I'm going to take a darning needle and sew with yarn all the way through both stitches back and forth back and forth up and down the side only sew up two sides of the top and bottom so that you can put your insert inside. Stuff your insert and sew up the remaining area that's open and then slide the insert into your pillow. Once you put the form inside the pillow, finish off the other two sides of the top and bottom the same as we did before. Weave in your ends and then you have your pillow. Thanks for watching my video.